Great to have you there. Mission objective, we're taking the HPZ240 motherboard, creating a custom workstation for 4K video recording. Yes, that's right, we're putting it into a gaming case, the Leon Lee gaming case. It's gonna be really cool. There's the motherboard, lots of cool features there. This is gonna be a tough project, four phases in fact, but eventually, I think it runs. Yeah, that's definitely running there, awesome. Top secret project, let's see if we can finish this off. Phase two. Motherboard test fit. We're also going to put in the power supply and a couple of bonus bits there as well. So keep an eye out here for the case itself. If you haven't seen that video, check out my previous video on the unboxing of this beautiful case. Really, really cool. Lots of features there and lots of options. Now let's have a look at this motherboard a bit more closely. So what do we need to do? Well, there's lots of cool features on this motherboard. We have our chipset, M.2 slot, four PCI slots, and uh, very, very capable four DIMM modules there. Wow, that's cool. And yes, you heard right, it's got a native M.2 slot. How cool is that? Now, lots of CPU options there. Some of them I haven't actually been able to confirm online, but they may well work if they're using the same motherboard socket. Lots and lots of good options there. Now, what else do we have on this motherboard? Well, lots of SATA ports there as well. Now, our key objective here is to try and get these motherboard standoffs to actually align with the somewhat, shall we say, non-traditional HP mounting locations. That's okay, we can figure this out. Now, I highly recommend that, that you use a spanner that's appropriate for the job right now, just using a pair of pliers. So you can see some of the mounting holes there, the others are off camera. But nonetheless, we're trying to get this one to align so that we can secure the motherboard. Now, these are pretty important, it helps to keep the board in place. Obviously there'll be quite a bit of mass once we load it up with other components. We do want this to be fairly secure. Also serves as grounding locations. So quite important to make sure we get a good fit here. So doing some test fitting, make sure you got the right hardware for the job. Thankfully this case was supplied with lots and lots of hardware. Otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to use the HP original equipment. Okay, bit of a fumble here. Oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Magnetize that screwdriver, very important. Okay, let's round this off. Getting that one in. Okay, you'll see three up top. Still got a couple off on the far left flanks to round off, but really tough on these. Just make sure you thread them in all the way. They do help with the positioning of the motherboard. And last one there, sorry, can't quite get a good camera angle. Oh dear. There's no standoff and there's no hole for a standoff. Okay, that one is just not going to work for some reason. It's okay, we'll skip it. This one works, no trouble. Okay, so that does happen. Let's cue some new music and uh, let's round off. So final screw, the ones that I can install, do a quick tug test. Watch out for static though, make sure you don't uh, statically charge yourself and then discharge somewhere on the board, that'd be a disaster. Okay, that's the last one there. I thought I had that one, but okay, there it is, perfect. Now, once we have the motherboard mounted, what do we do next? That is an excellent question. Well, after securing it, oh dear, you'll notice there we forgot the rear IO plate. It's okay, I don't have one, we'll continue here. This is mounted, power supply, let's do it. So this is the Deep Cool 750, let's do the unboxing. Oh, nice tunes. Definite, definite cool tunes. Very satisfying. So deep cool, why would I go for the deep cool? Well, this is a really, really affordable power supply. Packs a punch, 750 watt, and it's modular. That's right, you heard me correctly. It's modular and it's cheap. I know those two don't normally go together, but in this case, it works. Let's clear some space here while we have a look at what's in the box. This is exciting. Hopefully you're paying full attention. Oh, what is that? Some sort of warranty sticker, fair enough. That must be the instruction manual. You guys should read it. We'll, uh, we'll probably skip it for now. Very neatly packaged, look at that. And there's our power cable. We'll definitely need that later. Nothing you haven't seen before. Getting the packaging out, very nicely packaged. Oh, oh, what's this? The joys of modular. This has got to be our modular, oh, there it is. Lots of modular cables now. This is the benefit of a modular power supply. We don't even have to run all those cables. We can just use the ones we want. Oh, look at that, neatly packed away in a sleeve, no dust. Last little bit and always check for the secret compartment. Oh, there's nothing there. That's okay, sometimes there's a secret compartment. Now, this is a very nice dust cover. Let's quickly get this off. Feeling like a DJ here, beautiful. 
Now, I would say it's dusty, but it's not dusty at all. This is incredible. Look at that, spotless. Very, very sleek design. Okay, let's get this in. But before we do, specification, 750 watt, 80 gold plus. Now these retail around 100 US, but those prices will vary according to sales. There's our on-off switch there as well. Beautiful, beautiful design here. Let's get this power supply mounted. First things first, we need to get to the rear section of our case. And uh, quick tug, there it is. Now you'll actually notice there are two bays for power supplies in this case. That's exactly why I took it. Expecting those 4090 cards to really soak up some power. So maybe one day we'll need a second power supply. But for now, this will be more than enough to run probably a 2070 Super. We'll see how we go on that. Now, on these screws, very important. Make sure you choose the right hardware. That wasn't uh, the right one. Now, while I solve some really complicated equations here, I'll leave you guys to marvel at the uh, calculations. So first one here, Pythagoras. Okay, we definitely need to keep an eye out for some quadratics, maybe a little bit of calculus. Oh, integration, differentiation. We may need to solve some bigger life problems here as well. Uh, a little bit of DNA there and even the atomic molecule. Oh, there it is. I got the right screw. Perfect. So we'll quickly thread these in. Very important to get all four mounted. That does keep that power supply neatly in place. Okay, almost there, one to go. Now, if these do feel like they have a little bit of resistance, you've probably got the wrong hardware, so definitely double check it. Perfect. Now, we can't switch it on yet because we're missing our modular cables. Oh, what are these? Okay, this one's completely redundant on the workstation motherboard because they do not have a internal USB 3.1 header. Or well, at least not uh, to this form factor. Okay, there's our 3.1 header. We've got our speaker cable, power cables. Okay, everything's there, this is excellent. Now while I do some neat wire tuck, you'll see the fans going in. Uh, let me show you some of these components. This is a Western Digital Velociraptor, very, very capable, over 9,000, well, 10,000 to be precise, RPM hard drive. How cool is that? Bit of a retro kickback there, a little aged, but still works really well. And we also got our Wi-Fi card. Why not? Really, really capable. Now while I sort out the mounting, very cool hard drive mount there. Sorry, I'm going to hijack this video to show you some future content. This is just cool, too cool not to share. Check this out. Yeah, sorry sorry about hijacking the video there, but check this out. This this thing, it's got USB-C port and four USB-3. Ah, oh, sorry, let me zoom in a little bit. You can't see that very well from there. Sorry, completely hijacking this video. Check this out. That is such a cool PCIe adapter. We have four USB-3 ports, one USB-C. And we even have this little adapter. This one just slots into a PCI slot, doesn't actually occupy one. Has an internal USB 3.0 header, giving us two USB-C ports from that same adapter. How cool is this? Sorry, I'll let you, let you get back to your previous uh, video there. My, my bad, my bad. No, sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna hijack this entire video. No, okay, no, we better get back to the original footage. I'm sorry about that. Keep an eye out for future content. We're gonna get this computer fully installed. Part three coming out soon, as you can tell. Okay, getting back to this, wire tuck here, and sorry, hijacking again, this is part four. Wow, look at this. A Little bit of troubleshooting, it wouldn't boot, but there it is. It's running beautifully, look at that machine. Lots of other little niggly problems, including the power, but we'll look at that in the future part. Keep an eye out for those. In the meantime, you guys have a good one out there. I'll see you on the next video. Oh yeah, put a coffee. More editing to be done. Have a good one. Why is that fan not spinning? <laughs>